the counts if function will return a value based upon how many cells meet multiple criteria. To demonstrate this, what we will do is check which type, so if it's a food or drink, and in our example we will say food, is over five pound, count them cells. So if we do equals count ifs, open parentheses, as you can see Excel is asking for the first criteria range. We will select the type, comma, tell it we want food, comma, and now it's asking for the second criteria range, which will be the price column, and we want to say anything sorry, anything greater than five pound, close parentheses, hit enter, and we get a value of one. And that's because item eight is food, it's over five pound because it's eight pound, so we have one, one cell which uh, meets that criteria. If I double click and change this from food to drink, hit enter, now you can see we have two cells that meet that criteria and that's item seven because it's a drink, it's, over, it's seven pounds so it's over five pound, same with item ten, it's a drink, it's ten pound so it's over five pound, so we get two. One thing to bear in mind when you're doing count ifs is that if you have a long list of data in a big spreadsheet and you may uh, by mistake have a date value in, in the column so if I just put a date in here as you can see that count ifs has now gone up to three so I just change the date value to general you will see that this cell is actually a value of 41,255 and that's because in Excel dates are serial numbers so it's important to remember when doing count ifs that there are no dates within any columns which should be prices for example because otherwise you're going to get erroneous figures come back uh, also if you have a column with numbers and there's text in there as well text will not be counted in the count ifs uh, function so these are just two points to bear in mind when using count ifs